Friday evening and out of nowhere these people came to our house. It was like 13 people. I just felt shoulders and hands and a huge force and they said we're all police, we're all police. They, they didn't look like police officers, they had no uniform. They said no you're not allowed to call anyone and he snatched my phone away from me and they forced me back in. I just, I just felt it. I knew they were going to take him, but what are we supposed to do? There's 13 people in our house. What happens to the children who are placed in these families and withdrawn from those families? The trauma is huge because children are used to a particular caregiver. They're used to the love, to the attention, but then they have been withdrawn without planning, without any due processes being followed, illegally withdrawn. What that does to that child is that it heightens or increases the trauma on the part of the child. Baby Kiano, unfortunately, is a victim of something that is not about the interest of children. It is not about its interest. It is about money, it's about power, and it's about elevating Child Welfare Society of Kenya and throwing every other person so that they get the monopoly. And to Kiano, it is very unfortunate. My heart bleeds for that child. My heart is broken about the way the child was withdrawn from that family. A family that was following a legally right process is today being put out as a child trafficking family. And it is very sad and it is not in the interest of this child at all at all. I don't understand why, you know, they've accused us of all these things. We're saying we've, we've made fraudulent orders, you know, we from the court, that we're child traffickers, that we're lying about his medical, and yet no one has come to 